Well, as we've reported, hackers have been stealing unemployment benefits off thousands of EDD debit cards during the pandemic. It's been a huge problem. Well, now scammers are using the fear of that fraud to lure their victims. Seven on your side's Michael Finney says it costs one man half of his life savings, which breaks my heart to hear, but tough. The bad guys are good at this. Yeah, they, they see are. something that works and then they jump on it like you cannot believe. Now we've heard from viewers saying they receive calls or text messages claiming to be their bank, warning about fraud on their accounts. But often it's not the bank, it's a scam. And it costs this guy a bundle. The Bank of America uh, identification came up on my phone. David Barnett thought it was a real Bank of America employee calling to warn him. He said there was somebody in Georgia trying to make a withdrawal from my account for a large sum of money. The man said David had better act fast to stop the withdrawal. It sounded so real. In this day and age, it would be totally understandable. There are fraud. It's rampant. The man told him the best way to safeguard his money was to move it temporarily to another bank. He walked me through the process, which I thought was very nice. The man told him to use the Zelle payment app to transfer his money to Chase Bank. As I was doing it, there was a little voice that said, this seems very unorthodox to me. Why would I be transferring money into another account? But I suspended my disbelief and I made the transfer. As soon as the app whisked his money away, the awful realization sank in. He had been duped. In the guise of helping me, he was defrauding me. I felt like Boy, how could I have been taken like that? David contacted Bank of America, but too late to stop his money from landing in the imposter's account. Unfortunately, this was a large sum of money, and I kissed the money goodbye. Bank of America tells Seven on Your Side money transfers happen instantly. The bank can try to stop them, but, quote, there is no guarantee because the scammer takes the money as soon as it's sent. However, within days, David got a call from Bank of America in this letter, granting him a full refund. So relieved. I got my money back, and I'm very grateful for that. B of A did not disclose whether it was able to retrieve the money or catch the imposter at the other end. Remember, scammers can use phony caller ID as they did in David's case. A bank would never call and ask you to move your money like that. Never. If it happens to you, hang up and call your bank directly. I really want to thank Bank of America for this. Oh, yeah, phenomenal that they stepped up and yeah. made this man whole again. What a lesson for everyone. It is. Yeah, thanks, thank Michael. You.